Good morning. By now you know the drill. <clears throat> Empty room, door locked, thus not wearing a mask. So let's talk about chapter four. Let's talk about energy and metabolism. Um, alcohol dehydrogenase. Uh, that is the enzyme found in our bodies that helps us break down uh, ethyl alcohol uh, into usable components. Uh, binge drinking is one of the most serious drug problems on college campuses today. Uh, it's generally a problem on what are referred to as residential campuses. Uh, Pulaski Tech is what is referred to as a commuter campus. Uh, everybody drives to campus every day and then goes home. On a residential campus, that's the one where you have dorms and sororities and fraternities and things like that. Uh, binge drinking tends to be a much more uh, a much bigger problem on those residential campuses than they do uh, on a campus like ours. <clears throat> alcohol dehydrogenase again helps breast break down uh, ethyl, al ethyl alcohol and other toxic compounds. Uh, the breakdown compounds of ethanol. Uh, can cause damage to the liver, uh, which leads to a couple of conditions, cirrhosis of the liver or something called alcoholic hepatitis. Energy, the capacity to do work. So the definition of energy is literally the capacity to do work. Uh, work occurs as a result of energy transfer. Uh, your uh, textbook talks about plants for uh, powering glucose synthesis by absorbing light. That's a process called photosynthesis. We'll talk more about that in a later chapter. Uh, some energy is lost during uh, every transfer or conversion, and the most common uh, way that that energy is lost is in heat. Uh, again, I mentioned earlier in the semester, if you want to, uh, and I did this in my in -camp, in, in on-campus classes, if you, uh, if you want to demonstrate the transfer of uh, energy for producing heat, uh, get you a plank of wood and a nail and drive the nail into the wood and then touch the top of the nail after you've hit it four or five really, really firm strikes with the hammer and you will see that that top of that nail is hot because you've, you've transferred energy, <coughs> excuse me, from the hammer to the head of the nail, <coughs> excuse me, and that in part, in you, you lose some of that energy as heat. Uh, the first law of thermodynamics is that energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It can only be transferred, transferred or converted into something else. Transformed was the word I was trying to say. Um, as you move energy from one state to another, again, some of that energy is lost as heat. The second law of thermodynamics is that energy tends to disperse spontaneously. Uh, some energy disperses uh, at each energy transfer, again, usually in the form of heat. Uh, living things maintain their organization by harvesting energy from someplace else. Uh, we, human beings, other animals, we have to get our energy from something else. We can't make it ourselves. We have to go and take a ready-made item. Uh, if you're, you know, if you're a salad eater, it's the salad greens and the other vegetables. If you're a meat eater, it's, you know, the, the, the turkey or the, the beef or whatever you happen to be eating. You have to take those products and then uh, use energy to break those down into a point where you can use them. Uh, energy flows in one direction through the biosphere, starts mainly from the sun, uh, then goes into and then out of the ecosystems. Uh, and energy in chemical bonds is a type of potential energy. The energy we use uh, is energy called, you know, it's the, it's the chemical bond energy. And as those bonds break, then we get new uh, your, our energy is released, and that is the energy that powers reactions. Uh, there is a, a flow chart of energy. Again, we've seen this chart before in a previous chapter. You have the producers producing, the consumers consuming, and the byproducts of the consumption uh, is then used in, um, <clears throat> excuse me, to produce the producers. A uh, wonderful example of this is uh, farmers in olden times, uh, farmers would uh, uh, grow the crops to feed the family and the stock. Uh, the fecal matter would be collected. That fecal matter would then be used as fertilizer to grow next year's crop. So you've got the producers, you've got the plants that they're growing, uh, growing, uh, they're pr pr producing, excuse me, uh, then those products are consumed and we wind up uh, collecting the fecal matter, running it back into uh, the uh, 
next products. Hang on just a